welcome back to my channel um, as I said in my last video I was in Santiago and while I was there I was able to buy some we are memory keeper products which we don't get here in La Serena and in another video I was showing how I was trying to make whole reinforcements to, uh, to put on tags and things because I thought they looked really cute so I made I made these little ones and so I knew something that I was looking for in the store was this, the actual punch for making hole reinforcements. So I bought it and then after <laughs> I checked on YouTube and there are a few things which kind of make it a bit difficult. One is that um, it isn't clear underneath and uh, so you can't see very easily where you're punching. As I showed in the other video when I was punching it was easy to line up my little flower with the with the holes but still this is quite useful um, here as I said it's kind of hard to line up where where exactly it's gonna be and it sometimes sticks a bit and you also have to just shake it out and let it fall out the, the side so there's my little little hole reinforcement. Do another one. There. Oh, there's another little one. What I did find is it seems to be when you use it on paper, I wasn't getting a very good cut with paper. And I'm not sure why. I don't know if it's just because the paper I was using. I'm just trying this piece of paper. Well, that wasn't too bad. On some of the paper I was using, it wasn't um, it wasn't cutting very well. Well, no, that's okay. It seems to be coming up better. Maybe some paper is just a bit too soft and uh, gets caught up in the in the mechanism. So there we have some holes. Um, the other thing that it doesn't say on the instructions on the on the packaging you get is how to get the little holes out from the middle and I was I was really confused because I couldn't see them coming out anywhere and I couldn't see any way of, of opening this and you don't want to just start pulling on it without knowing you know what you're doing so I read in the comments of some other videos and what you have to do is you have to pull this open like that and here's a little little bit that pushes down and you can see in there are the little pieces. Sometimes they get stuck so you have to sometimes just do a little pencil down or something. Please. They came out okay. So that's how. And then to close it you just have to make sure this goes back in properly. So is that it? Punch as well. See? And I was looking at the these lines here and seeing if I could use those as kind of a gauge to where I want to um, cut and I found if you go if you go back to about the this second to last one there that's usually about right for for doing the, the hole punch and I also realized if you go back to just before just before this third one put the paper in just before this third one you can do this like this just before there and if I line it up on the other side as well and if I stamp I can get a little a little tab since I don't have something which does not so that's kind of useful as well that I can use it um, for that so that's good. I also bought while I was there um, the We Are Memory Keepers Corner Punch, because I'm, I'm assuming the crocodiles go through more material, whereas this is probably more just for paper, paper and, and thinner material. But that works. I was very pleased with this because it gives me a different, ah, see now that did not give me a very nice rounded edge, and I think that's because I didn't have it laid in properly. Let's try the other corner. 
see if it looks better this way. Now this does actually, you can actually see this side, so I should be able to see what's happening here. Of course now I don't have any corners to do. I think it's not siding in properly. When I do this one, That gives a nice, a nice corner. Let's see, let's see if I've got some piece of paper here that I can try the corners on. So, let's see. And this one, and see how it goes in and it pulls it there. corner. Slightly smaller one. Hold it there. It's a nice, nice corner. Nice rounded corner. Now, this is the one that's giving me a problem. The little tiny one. Oh, yeah, I think I just have to be really careful to make sure it's really gone in and lined up. See, and that's fine. I think with, um, with just plain paper, I think sometimes when you push it in, the corner folds up, and so that's why it's not doing a proper, proper thing. Those look great. Round this corner so those two match, and we will use this to do. Up here to just to make a tag. Let's see. The other thing I was a bit I'm not too sure about is so we'll put the hole there and we will use one of these pretty hole reinforcements to stick over it. The other thing I, I seemed a bit odd to me is that it seemed slightly, it's slightly bigger, kind of focused, slightly bigger than the hole that my hole punch makes. Um, oops, that's not sticking. Which I thought was a little strange. But I guess it's um, a standard size. And so, there. So, I suppose now I have two options if I want for whole reinforcements for making my tags. So, there we go. So, thank you for um, stopping by, and I will see you in my next video. Ciao!